Come check it out. Come check this out. Hey, you do know that these are the cars from Harry Potter, right? From Harry Potter? Yes. What are you talking about? It makes sense. They're English. There's, there's the scene in the first one. It's the flying car. Really? It's the same exact car. It's not the same car. I swear it's the same car. You could sell it off that. You could sell them as the Harry Potter cars. It is the Harry Potter cars. Welding needs in Houston. Hit me up. I got you. Can you go grab the other two of these that are, that are in the van over there? Yeah, hurry up. Whee! New project car coming in. Look at them cobwebs. I think there's a dead rat in there. Is there? No. Probably more than one. Probably more than one dead rat. You, you gonna put it on those? Yeah, might as well. I wouldn't put all of them. What if it rolls one day with a strong wind? No, nah, but we, we can at least move it around or whatever, you know? I would just put the backs in. Okay. Just the backs? Yeah, that way we just have to lift the front. Have to jack up the front? Yeah. Okay. How's it going? They're easy to roll. Does this open? Yeah. Oh, is the old gas tank from your other one? No, this is this is a gas tank that was in here, but it's not the right gas tank. Oh, watch out! Watch out! Back up! Check over. What do you think, Big Cove? I think this is the best boss ever for getting me this car. I, I don't know where this came from. I was not expecting this. I'm so happy about this. Uh, I don't think it's for you, my guy. What? Why isn't that flame retardant? Oh, it is? Our heart frame. So we got it. In the shop now. All right, so we got the 1967 Volvo Amazon. Uh, this is the coupe version. Uh, we're working on also a, a wagon version. One thing about the coupe, though, it is in bad shape. So you can kind of see, you know, it's just some of the parts of the floorboard have holes in them. You know, you can kind of see through the floorboard there. It's just really, really rough. None of these seats really match. The back, I don't know what kind of seats they had there. Um, coming to the back of the car, that gas tank that's there isn't even for this car. Uh, they got some leftover grills. Looks like a CB radio. And you can see there's light coming through there. It's not that bad, but the parts that are like that, we're gonna have to fix them. Fix them. Um, when I open up this door, I can see that you can pretty much see through the floorboard right there. So all that's gonna have to be cut out. And we'll, we're gonna redo that. This car is an automatic car. So that's nice. Um, it's an automatic car. It's got the factory, um, after the after factory option of the AC. So we'll see if we can ever get that going, but you know, it's rough. There's the motor on it. It is a B20 motor. So it looks like it's not the B18, but it's actually the B20. So we'll see if we can get that one running it too and uh, kind of go from there. I like the patina. So we're just gonna clean everything up and then see how it looks and decide if we're gonna go any further than that. I like it. I picked the car up for about 600 bucks, drug it out of the mud um, or the record drug it out of the mud on a flatbed. And uh, I think I got maybe 200 bucks in wrecking services so far. So for now, I'm going to get started on getting it all cleaned out. I'm going to remove these seats and uh, start cleaning the floorboard, start cleaning the inside. Um, and then maybe tomorrow bring a power washer. Looks like maybe they were under pecan tree or something. Because, man, there is a lot of pecans up in, in here. And they're already eating through. So... 
I don't know. A lot of, a lot of, doesn't smell bad like a rat or anything, but uh, it's pretty dirty. The good side is this, this uh, steel looks pretty solid. So, you know, about to right there going forward, we may be in luck. Uh, we'll see. But all that looks like to be pretty good metal. So. so I noticed this only has the L on the front of the hood. The V, the O, and then the other V and O are missing. But when I come back around in here, I found the V, the O, an L, and a V. So those are in the glove compartment right here this is what that was in here so maybe we're in luck so we got v o l v we just need another o found another o we're in luck we got them all now so i got this side kind of cleaned out a little bit you can kind of see the holes there after all the stuff is cleaned out. Still got to do the back. And I'm going to go ahead and take that seat out so I can get to all of that. I got this other seat out. So now you can kind of see how much stuff there's left. You also see that there's a big hole here. So we're going to have to cut out those floorboards. Definitely weld all those back up. I'm just going to order new ones. And uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> 